Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so the news is that I've updated my Twitch app on the phone. So hopefully chat is going to work now. <laughs> well, I hope so. Uh, yeah. And maybe you can hear my uh, my washing machine working. Uh, yeah. I also need to go and <laughs> put my laundry up on the wire at some point when it finishes. Okay, so let me get ready and I'll be back uh, to, this, to the chat. Let me just, yeah, okay, that is ready. Share the stream. Okay, got two likes on the tweet, at least. Okay, so let me slowly begin. Uh, let me just let me close the door. I'm gonna grab uh, water. Okay, hopefully you don't, you don't hear the washing machine. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's start. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, so here we go. Okay, let me just shut down Discord. Okay, here we go. So, uh, welcome to the 116th Shakedown stream. Uh, this is about making a in-game menu. And earlier today, uh, I had a quite a short stream, sort of one and a half hours, uh, and I've spent about half an hour just <laughs> just preparing for it because there was a lot to talk. Because I haven't <coughs> I haven't streamed earlier for two weeks because I was ill. I was uh, doing another project and other stuff in life. So um, yeah, this is. Uh, so I'm back. I'm back on stream, and Kenya is approaching in in a week. Not this weekend, but next weekend is Rally Safari 2024. Uh, looking forward to that. But I'm planning to also make a little stage for it, hopefully, uh, before the rally. <laughs> but before that, I want to add a little menu because it's been a long time since I, you know, since I'm planning everything in. In Shakedown right now is handled through a, a basically config. Everything that you want to configure, <laughs> let me show you. So like every, anything you want to configure in the game is done through a config. And uh, you know basically I have to op open the the um, config ini and 
If you want to change the resolution, if you want to change the bindings, you have to open the config and you just have to say, uh, okay, I want to change the width to this, to change to maximize. Okay, this is still going to maybe be the case because resolution is a bit complicated, but everything else uh, is pretty much, there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to uh, modify it from the game. And uh, for example, audio volume, right? Like why not modify it from, from game? And right now there is no such way if I launch the game and I go to, you know, <clears throat> I open the game, I start it. There is no way to modify the audio. Actually, there is, but you have to turn on the dev menu. Uh, yeah, the current menu is just, if you, if you hit escape, this is what you get. You just get a little info board, as I call it. And you have like, okay, press escape to resume. Uh, space to restart, R to, to enter the replay, right? Or enter to quit, that's it, right? It's not a proper menu. And if you want to change the, uh, if I want to change the volume, I can through the dev menu, which is like, you hit the tilde and then you can modify it here. <laughs> and you can actually modify a lot of things through the dev menu, like, you know, just like, I don't know, the geometry of uh, the wheels like you can extend the wheelbase if you want <laughs> or uh, or uh, widen the the wheel track now it's super grippy right look at this mega car yeah you can you can change a lot of parameters and a lot of people don't yeah especially the motors they don't know that so they're like modifying the config values but yeah a lot of these things you can set through these there is convoluted windows uh, which are not very nice uh, and that is the primary reason why I want to add menus, because then you would be able to just open the menu and change these values, right? Anything that you need to set. <clears throat> and so this is what I did on the last stream. I created a new project and this is the whole project. Okay. The main point, the main thing is that we have these menu entries, but yeah, let me actually show you how it looks like. Uh, so this is it. It's just an empty project which which has nothing except the main menu, right? If I resize it, you can see the you can see that we have these options and you can navigate through them with uh, keys up and down, up, down, 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 up, 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 up. And you can confirm them with space or enter or numpad enter, whatever you, you whatever you prefer. And it will do some function like this one. It says about to drive, about to drive and credits. It says by Notke, it just outputs to the console. It's, it's not a big thing, right? <laughs> and the quit, of course, quits the game. And the way I implemented that is that each of these options is actually a new window, <laughs> a new window, a new IMGUI window, which I actually center and I set the position. Okay, that's what I set up the last, you know, the last stream earlier today. And another thing is that I was just checking the chat because I don't trust the app. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and yeah, and then at the very end of the stream, I actually made it this sort of, I turned entries from simple strings into a struct. So the struct menu entry is actually what is controlling each of these options in the menu. And uh, so it has a title and it has an unconfirm function that you can call. And this is actually a function pointer, but it's std function, which is, you know, a little better than, than the C function. And the cool thing about std function is that it can do captures. So it can take any value from the, uh, you know, that you use and you can pass it to it and you can modify it. And that's pretty cool. Uh, you can employ, yeah. So basically here I have three entries. This is how I add them. Uh, one is drive, credits, and quit. And this is what it, it what it does. So it's basically just outputting about to drive by Notke and, and this one <laughs> outputs crashing and then sets quits to true. And you can see that it actually manipulates this, this value. And um, yeah, so it works like magic, uh, <laughs> which is really good. Uh, okay, so on this stream today, I want to add a left-right increment-decrement. So 
Right now you can go up and down, right through the options, but I want to add left and right that can, uh, you know, modify the value, which is very important. Okay. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and one of the, yeah, so, so how am I gonna do that is that, Oh yeah, it, let me just get over all the things. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, what did I do? So far, a uh, simple menu, uh, I actually drew it in the, oh, in the Excalibur, but I didn't, oh, I didn't need my notifications on. <laughs> um, so yeah, simple menu, set, it, set up the project, we have the Imgui windows, up down navigation space to confirm or enter or numpad enter Man menu items tracked confirm as a std function i showed you all of these things uh, so today i want to do the left right increment as i said and i want to oh yeah i want to figure out how to point to the entry itself to change the text so would this be possible i think so but i would need to yeah i'll, I'll focus that later but basically, I want to be able to change the text of the label from the menu itself, right? Um, uh, okay, that's one thing then. I want to have multiple menus. So for example, when you enter the options menu, it you know, turns into a completely different set of uh, options, set of entries. Um, increment, decrement, percent. Yeah, for example, for the volume, right? When you tap right, left, it should change the, the percentage of the volume. Uh, find out how to change imgui background color uh, yeah I want to actually change the background color not just the alpha so that's that's one of the things and then finally I want to edit the shakedown so I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna do all of these but let's let's begin so for the beginning uh, oh yeah I wanted to actually make a little test and um, yeah, let me actually try to modify the text itself first, because that's the most interesting thing, right? I want to actually be able to point into the entry itself. So what do I mean by pointing to the entry itself? Uh, by that, I mean I want to point into this emplaced back entry. And, <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I know that this is the second one, right? Or this is the index one. So what I could do is I could simply take a uh, okay let's let's change the um, change label <laughs> let's say like this something like that um, and what I can do here in this function um, I can say okay let's do the function like this I can say um, well I know that this is the zero one two right this is the second index so I know that menu entries entries two dot label well I don't know why it is uh, oh title is uh, now it's different something like that okay let's try to change it wow what is going on why is it putting two Okay, there it is. Now it's different. So we're gonna change, we're gonna attempt to change the title of it, right? Uh, so let's see if this actually works. I have no idea. <laughs> so yeah, the, the unfortunate thing is I don't know how, how you can pass a self uh, so that I don't think about, I, need, I don't need to think about indices, but let's see. Okay, let's try. Change label, now it's different. Okay, so it totally works. You can change itself. But as I say, the issue is that you have to pass in an index or something. Um, yeah, it, it cannot have the self thing, whoever adds it. But you could have the entry itself. Well, can I, can I actually reference the entry itself somehow? Can I, maybe if I pass it into a function. Because if this is yeah actually actually i have an idea when i'm calling it when i'm actually call at the point of call menu entries menu entries where am i actually calling it 
Where am I actually calling this? Oh, confirm. There it is. Okay, so maybe I can add a reference to the menu entry itself here, right? What if I take, whoops, what if I add the menu entry, right? And I can say menu entries I, right? But on confirm, it's not going to be a void. Um, but it's going to take a reference to a menu entry. Uh, no, wait, this is not how you write it. This is how you write it. Uh, okay. So yeah, here's the thing. This is going to be the reference to the main uh, to the menu entry. Um, and then yes, and then it can take in the reference. But the thing is where I'm defining it, I need to add, uh, right? Wait a minute. It is actually here. No, it's not. No, this is a struct. A struct. And this is a... Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't allow me to do this. I think that's just intelligence fail. If I start... If I try to build it, yeah, definitely. Can I convert from initializer list to menu entry? Yeah, uh, so the problem is here. The emplace back doesn't work. I would need to have a... Uh, I would need to add an, a menu entry here. Right, uh, I think so. Me, <laughs> let's call it me for short. Uh, something like this, right? Then I need to have it in every... No, even that doesn't exist. Initializer, illustrator, menu entry. Cannot convert. Okay, so it does return a void. But... It doesn't allow me to put a thing. Uh, interesting. Okay. So as to the, let's, let's look for it as to the function as Lambda. I cannot pass Lambda as as to the function. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. This is not specific to lambda const std string. Okay. It's because lambda function is not an std function. What what kind of function is it? std function t const std string. What the hell is this? A reference. <laughs> Why is the reference at the end? Uh, why is it? Oh, it's a reference to the function. I see. No, that's the reference to the function. <clears throat> okay, so why doesn't this work? Oh, I forgot to add, it, add one here. This is why. So yeah, the unfortunate thing is that, that I have to add these to every entry and reference former parameter okay yeah it's i'm not referencing this one so okay it does work so i am passing a reference to the entry itself but the annoying thing is that the lambda you need to add these can you do auto for parameters or something um c plus plus auto parameters in lambda Lambda function parameters can now be auto to let the compiler use the type. Um, okay, can you do the auto? But it's not doing anything. Uh, so if I just do auto, okay, so that works. If I just say auto, without the name okay that works okay so that's one way to do it okay that's one way to do it 
but what are the warnings? I'm wondering about what are the warnings. Uh, there was a thing that it said something about warning me unreferenced sign and sign in. Okay, we have a sign unsigned. Selected I is size T. <coughs> okay, we're gonna just convert it to. Oh, my laundry is over. I'm gonna have to run to my laundry. Um, and uh, side unsigned mismatch. Yeah, and then we have a side unsigned mismatch here as well. Okay. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can just put auto. That's that's pretty cool. Okay. So that is how I can reference the entry itself. So instead of getting entries like this, what I can do is I can say menu entry, or you can say entry, and then I can just say, where is it? Entry. Entry, I forgot, there it is. Entry, and I can just say instead of this entry title. But here's the problem. Is this, it does auto deduce references or not? Uh, is it gonna actually change it? So let's see. Okay, let's actually use auto here. So now there should be no warnings. Doesn't seem like there are any warnings. Yeah, cool. No warnings. Except for those gigantic link warnings. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Change label. Yeah, it doesn't change. And why doesn't it change? Because auto doesn't re deduce references. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's the reason. Uh, so you need to put a reference in there. You see, this is a foot gun that if you don't know, there it is, it actually works. This is like, if you're not smart enough, <laughs> and by smart enough, I mean, if you haven't encountered this problem before, because it did, uh, you would easily just, and the output doesn't actually say anything. The error doesn't even say anything. Okay, there are some linking errors, but not the code errors. It doesn't even tell you, you know what, this should be a reference. This should also be a reference, even though nothing is being used. Okay, so yes, entry title now is different. All right, so this is how I can actually change the title of something. Right. If I say that, for example, I can say int increment this, I can say zero. And so I could have a menu entry, menu entries dot and place back. And I can say uh, increment and I'm going to just have this. And then this thing entry, it's going to be a lambda that is going to change the label to be, uh, is going to be um, increment. Yeah, let's do a std format. Uh, well, std format. And it's going to be increment and increment this, but also uh, at the same time, I'm also going to increment it in the same action. Comment this plus plus. Whoops. Plus plus. Sorry for not typing everything in a new rows. Now I have a, we have a few statements. Uh, increment this. There it is, and this also needs to be. Yeah, an end of um, statement. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a missing. There's a missing piece. There's a missing piece. Oh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> okay, first off, this is a lambda, right? And the lambda needs to end. The lambda needs to end here. There it is. Okay, now it now it makes sense. Why is this moving everything back? 
Okay, there is a problem. Yes, there is a problem with brackets somewhere. Okay, and place back, right? And place back this. Oh, this is an extra. Here we go. Okay, that's the problem. But what does it say? Oh my god, it has no member label. Yeah, it doesn't have label, it has title. <laughs> okay, and of course, I need to close this one. Oh my god, so many brackets. So yeah, we have a lambda that increments this and uh, we do a std format of increment. And actually, this should be the same as this. Uh, yeah, because this is the initial the initial text as well. But here's the thing. I wonder if this is even going to work. Yeah, it should work because this is a uh, this is an std string. Um, nobody in the chat yet, so I'm not even sure if it works. Hopefully, it does. Um, so let's try it. We have a menu. There we go, we have change label, it works, increment, there it is, increment one, two, three, and now it, we made a cookie clicker, right? Or a space clicker, or an enter clicker. <laughs> Here we go, a hundred. Ah, hundred and one. Uh, okay, yeah, we can go all the way until we overflow at two billion. Let's go there. Let's let's go to two billion. No, I'm joking. Of course, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just crash. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. That's cool. We can do that. Oh, why do I have double quit? That's why I had this glitch at the bottom uh, for no reason. Okay, and what is this? Why is there an error on the bottom? There should be no errors. Let me also submit this uh, to the menu. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now, now let me add this to fork. Oh, shit, I didn't move to PC. Oh yeah, I did this before moved uh, most things to PCH to precompile headers so that the compilation is faster but I don't see if there is, if it is even faster or not okay so let's uh, let's admit this that I've added um, entry now passed to the confirm okay so now let's do let's implement left and rightness. So basically what I want to do is I want to have a thing that in game menu in the menu of course I was I talked about this uh, earlier that you know there are going to be those things which are confirm based right if you have an option you just say enter and you confirm oh like confirm unconfirm <laughs> yeah which is all the things I have but I want to add a thing which is like which has arrows like like volume, you know, you want to change the the the, the uh, volume percent or something like that, and this is like left and right, and you can click left and right, A D A D, you know, to change it. So I want to add that option, and basically what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have another function, and in this case it's gonna be on it's not gonna be on the confirm, it's gonna be on uh, on left, right. <laughs> no, let's call it on, on, I don't know, on move, on increment, on increment, I guess. Uh, and, and into the function, I'm going to pass in a number, and this number is going to be a difference. So, uh, let's just call it the value and so do we actually need a reference to the menu entry or not I guess we do I guess we still do so what this means is that in the menu entry right we can add a new entry 
which is going to be incrementable. Okay, let's instead of increment on confirm, uh, let's call this increment on confirm. On confirm, uh, let's actually add that as a new thing. Okay, I'm going to add a new one in place back, and I'm gonna instead of this, I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, let's just call it increment, increment something. Uh, let's call it change value. <laughs> Simple. Okay, and we're gonna have some kind of a backing value. So this is gonna be my my um, uh, value. <laughs> great, great naming. Okay, let's call it test value. Just so, so just so that it's a little bit different. Okay, so now that we have that, um, what we can do is we can do a lambda, and this lambda is going to have the entry. And actually, we're not going to use the entry. We're just going to do a yeah. Actually, let's let's do an entry. But the most important thing. Oh well, here's the thing. We don't have a confirm. So. Yeah, this is going to be a null pointer because that's the first thing. Uh, but the second lambda, the second lambda, because yeah, why 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 this? Because the first is the title, right? That's it. Then the second is this, and the third is this. So I want this, which is on increment. Um, <clears throat> and on increment is going to be. A, of course, we're not going to have that. We're going to need to have another value, which is the int value, right? And uh, and we're going to close that. And that one is going to change the test value by value. There we go. Um, so this test value is going to change by the value, right? And yeah, let's now we have to implement that. Uh, why does this error still keep happening here? Because I don't think it should be it's yeah, th there shouldn't be any value. So now increment and confirm. This is change value. Okay, so if we have to say that for each of the menu entries, right, if selected, if confirm, okay, so here is what we're going to do. If uh, engine input get key down, get key down, and we're going to do, oh, and not any key down, but key down key uh, A, when you press A, we're gonna increment okay here's the thing here's the thing let's put it in a, into a value i'm gonna say int value and we're gonna call it if key down is a then it's gonna be minus one else if a input you know what? There is actually a way to do it. Key pressed key. Um, didn't I? Didn't I have that somewhere, where you have like an axis, smooth value axis? Uh, no, I don't want smooth value. There, there definitely is a function that I added for this exact thing. Smooth key. Negative positive soft sign smooth key uh, well I guess it's not in the engine key pressed key pressed um, yeah I have a feeling it's not in the engine it's probably in my where I'm passing two keys you have a negative key you have a positive key negative positive yeah I do have it's in the smooth value axis but not in the real okay anyway uh, what, what is this it says this member can be made const. Nice. 
Okay, well, I can make all these things const, which is nice. Thank you. Thank you, Visual Studio. Anyway, um, this thing, I'm going to say if keytown is D, we're going to plus one or one, uh, else we're going to zero. There it is. So if value is not zero, uh, we're going to invoke if menu entries, if uh, menu entries one um, on increment exists, right? If it's not a null pointer, just like what I did above, then I'm going to call menu entries i on increment and we're going to call first argument is of course menu entries i and the second menu and the second is value so there we go so if it is a, a, an increment an incrementalist <laughs> then we're going to do this but of course i also had this uh, menu item thing uh Hmm. I don't know. Uh, should I actually? Yeah, here's the thing. If it does have uh, the title, the title here should actually show where is this begin set? Yeah, there it is. Text centered. This centered text should have arrows if it's left and right. Okay, but first off, first off, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Uh, so yeah, if you're if I'm changing the value left to right, it should have a test value. Oh, right, but I also need to change the title. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's just do an info first, uh, which is gonna be change changed value. And I'm just gonna say value here, right? And it should output output it. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Does it compile? Does it compile? Oh my god, it's so slow. I don't know why it's so slow, but yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, increment on confirm. There it is, it works. On confirm, oh, confirm, yeah. Change value, there it is. Oh, it's not working. It's not working because I'm not adding, <laughs> because this is outputting the value, not the test value. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's not because of the STD function stuff that it compiles forever. Because if I need to compile this every time, I hope it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, uh, increment and confirm change value. There it is. Okay, so we go up. There it is. And we go down. Okay, so let's change the text now. Um, let's change the text itself. Uh, I'm going to just point the entry. Well, here it is because I have a reference. And I'm going to say the entry title is... Uh, Let's do std format. Uh, I need to remember that I'm not in zig, so I, I need to use special <laughs> special keys. Uh, std format. I'm just gonna do um, yeah. I'm gonna do change value and this, and then we're gonna have the test value. Okay, here we go. So hopefully that will change the value on the title in the title as well. The chat is surprisingly quiet. Is anybody there? <laughs> okay, there it is. Here we go. We have, we can change the values left and right. Uh, yeah, and it looks like it's aligning itself pretty nicely, even though I'm going up and down through the values. That's nice. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, 
that works. That works. Hello, Wazzy says Xiao. Okay, so yeah, it works. The um, the chat, the Twitch app actually works now. Good. That is that. I was actually interested in that to see if uh, if if they fixed it because I updated it on my phone. Okay, so yeah, now that we have the left and right, and we can change values, and we can even confirm, confirm as I say, and I can change the values, and I can do stuff, and I can even quit. Uh, one thing that I want to do is I want to um, add automatic automatically for everything that you can increment. I don't want to do a special special title yeah by the way let me try this because this could be a thing yeah so when you're in this you can do a left and right there it is there it is it works that's nice that's nice and it looks nice yeah one thing that I don't like is that you can't <laughs> you can't repeat the key okay so that's one thing that I might want to add uh, I don't have that in the engine although that's the problem um, key down because I have a key down but I don't have a key repeat on glfw press i think that there's a special action right e action is glfw repeat repeat yes i think it's a special one it's a special one key down key down yeah it should be a repeat as well I don't know if I should pass an uh, optional or I should make a new maybe I should do a new a new method a new method for that yeah because it's only it's only here that I actually want it uh, <clears throat> most of the time you don't want to repeat <laughs> uh, key down yeah let's do that let's do it quickly so i'm just going to copy this <clears throat> and i'm going to say a key was down what the hell is this i don't know a key was up a key was up return false if a key was up yeah, now I need to remember what I was doing here. A key was down. What was this? <clears throat> I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to convert this to key release. And yeah, and this is going to also be the key release, but it takes a key instead um, and this should call key release and of course we should add this to the yeah there it is add a declaration add a declaration there we go just keep press this frame um, I have no idea what this what this is but let's let's just pretend that everything is fine. GLFW release. Okay. <laughs> uh, so let's actually try. Oh, whoa, 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 key down key down key up 
key repeat. Okay. Uh, glfw repeat. There it is. Okay, so whether this should be a key is down, I have no idea. Uh, or not, because I'm not sure what I was doing there. Um, of course, I need to repeat. Okay, let's try to use that. And I'm going to have to re rebuild the engine, I guess, now that I've added these two, which is exactly the right time. Key pressed. Yeah, I said key released. Wazi here says. Um, yeah, let's do a repeat. Repeat. Uh, where am I actually reading the value? Yeah, let me actually do not in a for each, but let's do a global one. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, I have a confirm, but I'm going to add a, let's call it horizontal value. <laughs> because that's the sort of in, in Unity, you would call this a horizontal, an A or D. Uh, yeah, let's just say left or right. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's much more, it's m much easier to understand what it is. If left or right is zero, is not zero, yeah. Um, Confirm. Okay, so instead of key down, let's try to use key repeat. And let's see if this is if this is gonna work. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna rebuild the engine and meanwhile, while I'm rebuilding the engine, I'm gonna go and uh, what is going on here? Oh yeah, left or right, left or right. I'm gonna go and set up at least a part of my laundry onto the wire. So let's see. Let's see if this works. It's rebuilding.
All right. All right. I'm back. Hello. Uh, and it has built, which is nice. Uh, I did put up most of my laundry, uh, but there's a few more things that I'm going to put up uh, on the next on the next break when I do when I go make some tea or something. Okay, let's see how it works. Change value. Doesn't work. <laughs> Doesn't work at all. Okay. This one works. This one doesn't work. Okay. So there's something wrong with the with the key was down, I guess. My key was down. I don't know what I was doing here. Okay, let's remove the uh, key was down. Well, maybe there's something wrong here. Hello there. Hello, sleepy mushroom. Nice to see you. Okay, so uh, there it is. Okay, so it works now. But it doesn't do a on. So it does work on repeat, but it doesn't work now on uh, key down. So you have to do that as well, right? You would have to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would need to do like uh, if a e input key down key A or I could even do like a little lambda. <laughs> Let's do a tiny lambda here. Uh, down or key down or repeat because why not? <laughs> Okay, it has to do, it has to be like this. Okay, and then I can just say, do this, right? Return. Dude, it's just such a waste of, such a waste of lambdas. Uh, and then I'm going to have a key. And I'm going to just pass in through like this. Um... <coughs> Key down or repeat. There it is. That's it. The whole thing. Uh, I don't know why it's not. Yeah, because I need to do a return. And then I can do a key down or repeat. And then I can do a key A. There you go. Something like that. Key down or repeat D. There we go. Well, you know, it doesn't need to be a lambda. It could be just a normal, normal function. I don't know if there is a difference in like if this is this is a pretty simple lambda, right? So if there is like a difference in cost. Now, oh, what is going going on here? Wait, I didn't put a parenthesis correctly. If there's a difference in cost if you do a lambda or just a simple function. I mean cost as in at runtime it's probably the same. But at compile time, like it's interpreting these lambdas and stuff. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, then I would have to pass an engine in, in as well. And yeah, let's not do that. Uh, let me try this now. If it's a key or... How do you build your Visual Studio project? I just do it. <laughs> I just press F5 and there it is. It does build. Uh, I mean, it is using... Uh, <clears throat> I am using the Visual Studio compiler. Um, but of course, I'm also using the... I'm using Premake to configure the project, if that's what you're talking about. So here I have a Premake file, which is... a uh, which is basically a Lua file where I'm, this is where I have all these projects and uh, this is the initial, this is the setup. I set all my defines, uh, include directories, filters, blah, 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 right? Whatever each project needs because this is one solution with 
a bunch of projects. And then I just configure that and that is what I build. Basic. Okay, let's see. There it is. And now you can now you can increment values. Okay. So, there we go. We can change values as as much as we want. Uh, I can do like I could do a volume now in the same way. But here's the thing. Uh, should I should I make this like if I want to make another incrementable thing, I need to add, if I say like volume and you know, I would need to have, let's do, let's do volume here. Just, you know, let's call it volume value and volume value. Let's increment it by five. Um, value by five and um, change the value and let's also clamp it so I'm gonna do a do I have no this is only GL I don't have math here um, clamp clamp no okay I'm just gonna do like uh, volume value less than zero, zero, else, volume, volume, ah, volume, <laughs> value, more than a hundred, more than a hundred, uh, than hundred, else, what, else zero, else volume value. <laughs> okay, that should be it, right? I should be able to increase and and then change value and I can say change value percent. Oh, well, this should be volume, right? Uh, well, it should be volume and let's not have this info. Yeah, and then if we want to for each of these entries, I need to copy this, right? I need to have all the same stuff. Uh, so it would be nice to somehow add it as a feature like you want to have an incrementable thing so automatically uh, put it like this format it with the veggies and stuff like that uh, so yeah that would be cool to add but let's let's think about later uh, should say configure yes Sli sleepy mushroom yes I did say pre-make so configure Okay, so yes, volume, there it is. Oh, shit, what is going on? What is going on? It doesn't work for some reason. For some reason it's stuck. What the hell? Why is it stuck? This is strange. Test value. Oh, yeah, let's not... Uh, wait a minute. Volume volume value less than zero zero okay else if more than hundred hundred else volume value okay that makes sense <laughs> but then and then we're gonna change it to do I need to escape a percent no I don't need to oh I'm showing the test value that's the problem <laughs> I need to display the volume. Damn it. You see, that's why. That's why I have these foot guns everywhere. Uh, there we go. Oh, but it doesn't show percent. It doesn't show percent. So there must be a way to escape it or something. Hmm? Should I should you escape a percent? Do you need to escape a percent? I have no idea. Uh, escape sequence. Oh, it said something about unknown escape sequence. Uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't work. So it's it gets confused about a percent or something. What the hell? <laughs> uh, why doesn't it work? Yeah, and then the initial value is not in, is incorrect as well because I would need to have an initial value. 
So, yeah, let's see. std format percent. There's something wrong with this. Percent. Well, I don't know if it knows a percent. There's no percent mentioned. Uh, percent. How to add percent sign in streak format. What is the Swift in using Swift language? Uh, you should try a double percent. You think so? Let's see. That's that's funny. Uh, I I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that these, uh, earlier. Oh yeah, there it is. I didn't know about that. But what does percent do? Does it have some? Yeah, and there it is. Nice. You can go up and down by five increments. What does percent actually do? I wonder. Uh, there we go. So we have a nice increment and decrementer. So, uh, yeah, I wonder what does, why do we need to? I thought that all these skip sequences use this, right? Uh, so I'm confused. I've never encountered this before. Okay, so let's add that. Oh, yeah, I changed the engine. Added key repeat. Added key repeat to the engine. Nice. Um, and then main. Uh, here we're going to have added incrementing with and. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, so what, do we, what do we have do, done so far? We have done, you, oh, nice, this is exactly what I imagined. Uh, we have done point to entry itself to change the text, done. Left, right, increment, decrement as std function, done. Changing between different menus. Yeah, this is something, increment, decrement, percent. Yeah, I did actually that. But also I want to generify this generify generify it uh is that do that is that a thing you can say like i want to not have to write it the same time again or abstract it away uh so that i don't have to repeat it um was it says it starts escape sequence like at um like uh, percent d for integers Hmm. But here's the thing. Uh, the, I thought that format uses brackets, not not the printf style. Not the printf style things. Does it actually work with printf style as well? Like, can I write percent %i for integer? Is that a... It doesn't say anything. Just a guess. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay, it definitely is. It, maybe this is a pointer. Is this a pointer? Okay, it definitely does something. <laughs> the percent definitely does something, but it doesn't do what I was. Yeah. So I, I thought that the formatting actually exclusively uses the brackets. So it wouldn't have a problem with percent. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, let's parameterize this somehow. Uh, yeah. So I actually want to do... I don't know. Should we add a bool or something for this? Uh... Maybe I can say here um, I don't know left right left right in brackets mm, yeah would there ever be okay let's not let's let's do left right for all of these so where I'm actually putting a text 
text centered text centered and passing it text centered text centered and what am I doing with the text centered it's a oh it's a char star okay yeah where am I actually using text center there it is um, so for the center text yeah title sister yeah so basically what I want to do is if menu entries dot on increment is null pointer do this okay if it is a null pointer else if it's not we're gonna use a the the brackets notation <laughs> okay so how are we gonna format this text centered I do need to make a new string right well this is gonna be expensive so can I do something else text centered in text this just aha uh -huh. it does include a format it does actually format things um, okay I'm gonna do this manually right I'm gonna redo this uh, window width uh, get window size text width text size text ah but I need to pass it a text hmm that's a problem okay can I somehow keep the format the text so that I don't need to do it every frame uh, so can I stood format here I don't think so like it wouldn't this be unsafe unsafe doing this well not the brackets text centered yeah uh, oh yeah I need to if I grab a sister in a temporary stood format because this is a temporary string I think this is gonna break the game but let's try um, let's try unsafe okay so it does work it does work okay but yeah the unfortunate thing is I'm gonna I'm building this one every frame right I'm allocating this every frame which is a little bit annoying um so yeah I mean I could do this right and I could say that the format is menu entries I okay but I still need to change yeah it would be great oh what happened what does the output say assert fail cannot format an argument cannot format entries oh yeah of course this is tittle the tittle the tittle tattle okay there it is except that now we have the double brackets <laughs> so I can now take these brackets out I don't need these that's one thing okay since we have the brackets we don't have to type them but the problem is that I also have the <laughs> I also have the the value but the value also needs a yeah the value also has the um, the units and stuff so I don't know if it's gonna be a percent or something Hmm. 
And this should also point to the initial percent. Hmm. So here, oh, what if I can do this? Menu entries. Oh, doesn't place back return a reference? It does. Let's do a reference to this volume entry. Okay, volume entry. And then what if I can invoke an increment? Uh, oh shit, <laughs> it needs itself. Well, volume entry. It needs itself and it's gonna be an, a zero argument. Okay, so this is how you can force it to update. It is a little bit, yeah, it is a little bit weird, but that's, that's a way. That's a way how to do it. There it is. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. It will be great to actually format this with the value itself. But yeah, the menu entry is just an interface for the for the value. I'm not going to store the value inside. But and, and I also need to be able to modify the string. So I think I'm just going to keep it this way. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it this way. And, and the entries are just going to be like this. You have to uh, move the value. Well, I can always add more lambdas <laughs> to simplify things. I could say increment by five or something. Could I actually do that? Well, it needs to then capture the lambda. Oh my God, this is, this is gonna be convoluted, but let's try. I can say increment by five. And, um, oh yeah, this is gonna be a lambda. Actually, I'm not gonna capture anything. So it is a little bit, a little bit easier, but I am going to grab a pointer, a reference to a value, okay? And this value, we're going to do this. We're going to do this to the value, right? We're going to increment it by five, increment by five. And this is going to be by, okay, and this is going to be five by great, great stuff, great logic. Okay, and then we can do this, right? Increment by 5% percent, percent. Okay, so then what I can do, let's close this lambda. Uh, wait a minute, something is wrong, something is wrong, oh no, nothing is wrong, everything is fine, increment by 5%, so I can change this, I can replace this whole thing with increment by 5%, and I can just pass in the uh, volume, volume value, and the buy is going to be value. So there we go. And it does all the all the stuff with inside it. My god, this is the convoluted C++ stuff. I hope this is not going to stop. <laughs> this is not going to make my uh, my game grind to a halt when it comes to compile speeds. There it is. And now we can do that. And now we I can reuse this for other stuff. But yeah, I still need to have this format thing. 
Uh, yeah, so I do double formatting. I do a format here. Yeah, that's the annoying thing. I do formatting here, so I create a string, and then I do another formatting in here <laughs> by creating a string to just to add its brackets. Yeah, this is something that... I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of. Yeah. But to be able to calculate the size, that's the problem. The problem is calculating the size. Because text centered calculates the size using the center using the text. So I need to have the text. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Let's not spend so much time on this. I might I might make it more complicated later. Uh, okay, let's move on. Increment, decrement, generify it. Well, let's say that I did it. <laughs> let's say that I did it, although I didn't. But this is uh, this is the the closest that I could do. I'm gonna think about it again later. Uh, increment by five percent. Yeah, I mean this is the stuff that you need to write. So it's not that much, four lines, right, for each of the things. So if I want to have another thing, which I'm gonna call, I don't know, uh, graphics. You, let's change graphics percent. I would need to replace this. I would need to change the value, which in this case, let's just keep it calling value. Oh, let, okay, let's do graphics value. <laughs> graphics value, okay. And the only thing I need to do is I need to plug that one in and that's it. That's the whole thing. No, it's not it. This is the whole thing. Okay. So I could, I could do that by adding a lambda that does the whole thing. Uh, yeah, maybe I could do that, but yeah, let's 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 think about it later. Oh, there's a problem. There's a problem because these are the same things. Let's call this graphics entry. And okay, so I'm thinking about something. What if I have some kind of a repaint value instead? If changing this thing calls a repaint instead, so that I can just call a repaint on the whole thing. Hmm. I wonder if this would work instead of having to call this. Oh wait, since this returns, I could actually change it, chain this. Would this work? Would this work? Dot on increment. Mm. No. So this, re oh, it does work. It does work. Okay. Well, it is a little bit dirty and very unreadable very unreadable but uh, volume entry undeclared identifier oh it needs a self well yeah that's impossible then 
because it needs to have a gr it needs to have a reference to itself. Well, here's the thing. I could actually force this. I could force an update by running a uh, by running a range for entry in menu entries and I could do a if entry has a on left right what's the name of it on increment what is why is it so okay if it's not null pointer just on increment entry zero basically so this triggers an update of everything but with nothing of course because I'm just not incrementing anything uh, so then I don't need this and I don't need the volume entries I don't need to grab a reference to these okay well that is a lot more simple uh, that is a lot more simple Let's see if it builds. Okay. Yeah, it did repaint graphics there. I can change the graphics. I can change the volume. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Oh, yeah, let's quit. Um, okay. So before I go to the next thing, changing between different menus. Yes. Yeah, let's call this this, this generified. <laughs> Whoa, I changed actually a lot. Uh, okay, I'm going to call this that I generified, generified incrementing and decrementing. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is that I'm actually changing the value every time. That I'm using this, at least this doesn't work every frame. At least this is when I input. But this one does work every frame and this is what I don't like. If there's a way to allocate this without having to update it every time, that would be cool. Maybe, maybe I could store a buffer somewhere of a string and then ch change that buffer and then pass that into the center text. That could be, that could be a solution instead of formatting because formatting returns a new string anyway yeah let me think about the minutia the details later uh, so before I move on before I move on generified incremented decrement I mean it's not decrementing or incrementing um, before I move on I want to go and make some tea that's what I want okay but next thing on the line changing between different menus. So I want to have different sets of menus, like when you enter an option, you're gonna have another set of things, right? So yeah, let's, uh, let's figure how to do that. Uh, so see you in a minute. And I'm gonna put the, the rest of the laundry up in the meantime. See you.
night. Sorry about that. Uh, I did not forget about a stream. <laughs> I was just putting up stuff, my uh, laundry to the wire, and uh, there was a lot of little stuff. Socks, knickers. Okay, anyway. Let's go back to the menu. The menu. Have you seen the menu, by the way, the movie? I saw it quite recently, actually, a few weeks ago. And yeah, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so let's try to switch between the entries. And this is what I'm thinking about. Uh, Right now, I have a vector of menu entry, which is menu entries, right? <laughs> and, and I'm showing these for each menu entries, right? Uh, but I have a different idea. I have a different idea, and that is to, to actually use a pointer and the pointer I can basically use. Yeah, so I want to switch these menu entries, right? <clears throat> um, so yeah, what do I want? What, what's my goal? Uh, my goal is to have, for example, you have options and then you click on the options and then it changes completely all the, all the options, all the menus, right? So I want to do, so, so which, the, the GUI needs to know which menus to draw, right? So I switch between one menu category and the other menu category. And so the weight of the switching can be done with a pointer because a pointer can be null or it can point into something. <clears throat> so instead of using the menu entries to point into things, did I submit everything? Yes. I could have a a pointer to the std vector menu entry. Okay, and I can have this as a pointer and I can say um, menu to show, for example, right? And I can initialize it to null pointer. Uh, so by doing this, what is, what is the, what's the problem? Okay, there's no problem. Uh, by initializing this to null pointer, I can just say, okay, if there is no menu to show, uh, do nothing, right? Um, I'm going to just put everything. You know what? Let's do this. Let's say if menu to show. Why is IntelliSense so slow today? I don't know. <laughs> if menu to show is not null pointer yeah and that's basically it i already have the scope right i can just say don't show or show so right now the menu to show is null pointer so it should draw nothing if a, if the game is completely empty completely devoid of everything it works boom nothing shows so it works perfect <laughs> This is actually exactly what I want because then I can set the menu to show menu to show to menu entries. And since I set this to menu entries, then it should be able to show my menu. There it is. And look at that. I can actually, I can actually modify it now. <clears throat> okay, so now the this thing that I'm using if needs to do needs to use that uh, for everything. But let's just instead of menu entries, okay, which is everywhere, <laughs> which is everywhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a menu menu entries um yeah let's do 
let's do a reference let's uh, yeah that's gonna be in menu entries and then I'm gonna convert that yeah I'm basically gonna dereference menu to show and if it's null pointer I already made make sure that this is never gonna be a null reference null dereference right but the problem is of course that uh, menu entries already exists over here which is bad so I'm actually going to convert this into let's call it the main menu entries or something like that main menu entries I wonder if it's gonna be able to refactor this or not Whoa. oh my god it's taking forever <laughs> candidates to rename are gathered oh my god it's one file you can't even do that okay fuck this <laughs> fuck this I'm just gonna do it manually okay main menu entries okay why is IntelliSense so slow? Is it just because of the functions and everything, the function pointers? I hope it's not. Uh, okay, so yeah, these are all the main menu entries. For each entry, do an on increment. And that should be it. No, it's not. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, this should actually be changing anything you know this should all be inside menu entries to show mm -hmm. okay let's do menu input um actually actually let me do another one if not menu to show is not my little pointer like here menu input okay and we're gonna put all this well key down and repeat yeah the problem is that I'm actually initializing it here no let's not do that let's move this the whole thing I'm gonna move it into here after menu entries and this is going to be input, input, menu, input. And this is going to be menu drawing. Okay, so we have the input side and we have the drawing side. Uh, all right. So this is not going to be menu entries. Oh, yeah, it is going to be menu entries. So. It is correct. Do I have are there any other problems? Let's see. Let's try to build. <clears throat> okay, it does work. I don't think I need to check, but yeah, there it is. Okay, so to be able, the most important thing is let's make another menu right since we have these main menu entries let's do uh, let's do credits menu or something like that <laughs> so I'm gonna do another const I'm gonna do another vector of menu entries and that's gonna be credits <laughs> for example that's just for the test and for the credits I'm gonna do in place back I'm gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna do a like back function. That's first thing. Um, but the first is good, just gonna say notke. Okay, so notke is the credit, <laughs> and the back. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have an ent I'm gonna have a lambda that the only thing it does the only thing it does it's gonna set 
it's going to set the menu to show menu to show to be it's going to set the menu to show to be uh, main menu main menu entries so basically it's going to revert to this so this is how we do a navigation right the uh, credits sets <laughs> the credits sets uh, this to go to main menu and uh, and then my main menu is going to set the credits instead of saying just info yeah it's going to set this to credits <laughs> but i of course i need to initialize them before because it doesn't know that uh, yeah let's also reserve just the, as i did here uh, let's uh, reserve 32 well, I'd, I need just two, so no need to do anything. Uh, credits reserve, main menu entries reserve, and then what um, what credits can do instead of saying spudlog info, it's just going to say main menu entries. Main menu to show is going to become at at, at, at credits. And let's see if that works. Man, IntelliSense is so slow today. What is going on? Okay, so I can go through the whole thing, right? I can convert, I can change values. Uh, but when I click on credits, boom, it actually changes it to a different menu. My God, it actually works. So Nothke does nothing, it, there's no confirm or anything. But back is going to revert me to the previous menu. There it is! Oh my god, it actually works. It actually totally works. It actually totally works. Oh, but you know what? First, we need to reset the menu to the original value. Um, so yeah, we definitely, so yeah, there, we have, we have done everything that I was, I was planning to do actually today. So, except implementing it into, adding it into shakedown, but now it's different. You can have different menus, you can enter them. That's great. That's great. I'm satisfied. Okay. Yeah, let's quit and let's do a... So yeah, you can switch to the different menus through through the lambdas themselves. But I do need to reset my my menu selected, selected entry when I'm actually uh, moving. So I'm thinking about adding some kind of a lambda that says switch to menu. Okay, let's do a const auto switch to menu and I'm gonna do an um, yeah let's take a reference to the menu okay oh switch to menu that's gonna be a lambda uh, and um, yeah, and I'm gonna say the options selected selected over here. So now I can say switch uh, selected is zero, right? I can reset and I can say uh, that menu to show is main. Oh yeah, and I can say at menu. Well, yeah, and menu, but pointer, pointer to menu. So instead of using menu to show equals credits, I'm just gonna say switch to menu, switch to menu, menu to show. There we go. Oh, no, switch to menu credits. That's what it meant. Switch to menu credits, and in the credits, we're gonna switch to menu 
main menu entries, right? So this makes sure that the option is going to be reset. Yeah, but the problem is that now that we have nested lambdas, Jesus, this is... It's probably the compiler is working hard to figure out what I'm trying to do here. Okay, let's go to credits. There it is. It has actually set it to zero. Um, and yeah, I can go back. Oh, but the credits shouldn't change. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe it should go back to the original, uh, to the original value. If I was okay, so that means that the menus should hold values. Huh. Okay. Huh. That is actually interesting. Maybe I'm going to have to make the menus be a class on its own, a struct. Because then. Because in that case, I can um, I can keep the value of the last the last index that I was that was selected inside the menus themselves. Or maybe this is something that can be overridden by the user. Yeah, because if you say back, I mean, what I could do is I could also select it is one. I could do that. I could do manually. But yeah, then I need to know where it is in the previous menu. It should be easy to use. And not, and I don't have to care about it. So if I go back, back, there it is. It keeps on the credits. I'm not going to have a lot of nested menus. That's the thing. So maybe I don't need to do this, but what I can do is I can go back. Yeah. Maybe I should do a struct. I could keep an option inside. Hmm. Yeah, let's try adding it as a separate struct. Let's do that. Okay, so um, yeah, let's wrap it up into a uh, thing. Uh, main menu. Okay, so multiple multiple menus. <laughs> okay, well let's do that. Okay, let me make another struct, which is gonna call, which is gonna be a, just stuck, which is gonna be called the menu. And a menu is going to con con uh, con convert, is gonna be a vector of of menu entries, and it's gonna be called entries. So that's like menu dot entries now. And by default, it's going to be empty. Uh, yeah, but maybe I can reserve in a constructor. Can you do this? If I do a constructor, entries dot uh, reserve. Let's do a like size t capacity. Okay, and then I can reserve that. But I am going to add them individually. So maybe I can do something like okay, let's do a class. 
because this is and then make everything public because if it does have methods I like to call them classes <clears throat> um, okay so now that we have this oh of course we need to have a semicolon at the end of classes classic uh, oh it also the, the interesting thing in zig as well you have to put a semicolon at the end reserve okay so now what we can do is we can instead of the main menu entries we can do menu oh and of course let's wrap up the int um, uh, selected selected and it's gonna be zero by default okay so instead of this we're gonna do menu main menu and let's yeah let's initialize to 32 and then we're also gonna have credits and we're gonna do yeah so instead of main menu entries now we have uh, and no credits and no menu to show okay yeah this we're gonna point into the menu instead uh, menu to show is null pointer and then we have the main menu entries yeah it should point into the main menu for the beginning increment this selected blah 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 yeah let's remove selected because we don't need selected anymore that's gonna be menu dependent oh shit <laughs> but now I can manipulate selected switch to menu okay let's not have switch to menu instead I'm gonna set it uh, myself okay and now we have to basically switch this main menu entries so this now becomes this okay main menu entries 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 okay and uh, that's it oh switch to menu doesn't exist anymore instead we're just gonna say menu to show equals credits again okay um, and then we have the credits which are now credits entries uh, dot in place back and we don't have switch to menu instead we're gonna do menu to show equals at main menu entries there we go Oh, it's going to call its main menu. Okay, uh, so for each entry in main menu dot entries, there we go. That's it. That's nothing changes here. Okay, so now everything changes here because main menu entries, that's going to be the menu. Uh, can I actually okay let's rename that later because this now becomes menu entries dot selected mm -hmm. and that comes here as well and oh and of course this should wrap around and we should put that wrapping around here so oops this is now menu entries dot entries dot size dot entries dot size and this is menu entries dot selected and there we go and this is also dot selected so it's per menu key down or repeat blah 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 that should all work uh, what's going on there is another bug that I can't see aha uh -huh. it's here uh, because main menu selected okay uh, and then main menu entries entries 
uh, menu entries, entries, menu entries, menu entries selected, I confirm. Um, yeah, let's do an entry here. Menu entry entry. This is going to be a reference. So let's just grab menu entries. Menu entries entries I. So instead of this, we're going to do that thing. Whoops. Whoops. I grabbed a parenthesis as well. And we can do an entry as well. And then we can do entry. Well, it's actually a menu, but it's uh, in this case, it's a uh, menu entries because we haven't renamed it. Selected. And then finally, we have an entry here. Right. Yeah. And this is an entry as well. And this is an entry. And this is an entry as well. All right. There we go. Then. Okay, so let me also rename this just to menu instead of menu entries because now it's oh my god IntelliSense come on <laughs> menu please this should be called just the menu oh my god come on Do you really need forever for this? Okay, there we go. Select the selected. Yes, just let's just say okay. Apply. Okay, there it is. Now it says menu. Menu. Selected menu size. Blah blah blah. Menu, 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 menu. Okay, let's build. Let's build and let's see if it still works. Oh, it builds. That's a good sign. Here we go. We have a selection works, credits, it works. Go back and it stays on the same index. Cool. Nice. There we go. We can switch between. We can switch between, which is nice. Quit. Cool. So that's great. Let's make an options just just so that we can um, move it into a different thing. Um, okay, let's also say that I've added added menu class abstraction. Okay, so now let's let's add options. Okay. It's going to be 32 as well. And so instead of credits, we're going to do options, entries in place. Yeah, let's do, let's move graphics into it. Graphics volume. And then this is going to be options. Options, entries. Options, entries in place back volume. Volume, 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 volume. Uh, graphics and then let's also add back just like I did in credits options uh, I can actually categorize them as, as with the scopes a bit some of like that mm, hopefully that doesn't do anything any harm and this is the main menu of course I have the volume values and stuff. OK, 
Okay, let's do here values, settings, values. Okay, hold the settings, values. Let's put them into here. And that's going to be the test value as well. And then we can do a main menu. We can have a this, but I'm also going to move this lambda outside so that we can reference it. Okay, there we go. We, we've cleaned it up a bit. We have the main menu and, and we're going to add options here. We're going to add options and this options is just going to switch to options. That's all. That's all. Let's see if I've managed to... Did I manage to like implement an options menu in like three minutes right now? Thanks to my wonderful abstractions. If I did, Okay, we have drive, it does something, change the label, increment, changing the value in menu. You go to credits, not K, you go back, you go into options. Oh my God, you can change the volume, you can change the graphics. Look at that, and you go, go back, and it's back in options. That's it, it actually works. It actually works, we can just go through all the options. You know, it would be actually nice to have escape as going back. Maybe I can add that into the menu. Escape behavior or something like that. Um, how it's different. Now it's different. Yeah, there we go. Well, I, I did manage to implement a little menu in like three minutes. Uh, separate menu through the abstractions that I spent several hours on making. So that's good. That's good progress. That's good progress. The tea is really good, by the way. Um, okay. So, um, changing between different menus, done. Find out how to change Imgui background color. Oh, yeah. I actually wanted to do this. I actually wanted to change the color of the background. Like when you're pressing it and... Yeah. Increment by 5%. Anything else that I want to do? I, I think that's basically it. The next thing I want to do is I want to add it into Shakedown. So that would be cool. I uh, find out how to change the IMGUI. Okay, let's try to find um, IMGUI change uh, background color. Yeah, of course, it's <laughs> it's one of the most uh, most uh, set color borders to labels. I think it's a style thing. Yeah. Push style color. Push style color. Okay, let's see. Push style color. Yeah, let's actually do that before. Imgui. Why does IntelliSense not work today? For some reason, it's completely lost. Uh, my god, it's so slow. Loading member list. Uh, okay, uh, it's called push style. My god, come on, start working. God damn it. What is wrong with it? Why is it so slow? push style color and then the style color is what uh, imgui call imgui call god damn it 
background yeah, there's no background border button button header uh separator tab window oh window bg i guess window bg okay let's do uh mgui uh is there black is there red is there color mgui color red uh, I think there is a way to do MGUI colors. MGUI colors. I did it somewhere. Mm, no, I made a mistake. It's not that. I think there is a way to do some colors in MGUI, but I can't remember. Well, I wish that I wish that they it would it would have been helpful. <laughs> MGUI uh but yeah let's see color well i can use ntk color actually to convert and uh so yeah let me let me use include ntk no it should be color color utils okay that's the one so in my color utils you can actually convert you have a color struct that you can convert to anything you want. Uh, and I have a bunch of colors that I'm using. So I can just say here, NTK color azure. <laughs> Let's go with chartreuse. Okay, and then I'm gonna convert that to as U32 which is the imgui u32 basically okay and then i'm gonna pop style color right that's what i'm gonna do for after the four um <coughs> pop style color count yeah that's that's the only one <coughs> Let's see if this works. Okay, wow, it's so bright. <laughs> That's nice. <coughs> Looks cool. Looks cool. Okay, but at least I can change the color. Um, and yeah, the, the text color is now too, too bright to see anything. But that's cool. It looks nice. So yeah, it doesn't necessarily need to be black. And that's the thing. Is there something wrong with the margins? Or am I blind? Mm, I'm blind. Yeah, just the, because this, the 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 color is so bright. Okay, so yeah, but I can also push style for only the selected. Um, I can just say you know push style chartreuse, and then pop style chartreuse uh, for this one. Mm. And yeah, I could even confirm on confirm I can change the color. Oh, oh, the background alpha is actually Does it work? Wait a minute. <laughs> it should be chartreuse. So what is going on here? Oh, is it because it needs to be before everything? Set next window. Ah, that's the problem. 
if menu select yeah I need to I need to begin so if menu selected I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it at the end uh, but that's also gonna be if selected oh you know what let's do a let's do a bool let's do a const bool selected and I'm gonna just copy this whole thing if selected yeah selected if selected if selected I don't need to do all these conversions three times in a row and I'm just gonna say if selected im GUI pop style pop style which a im GUI pop style color okay there we go so hopefully this will work let's crash it first okay there it is it is now dark except for when I actually hover over so great except that it's very hard to see uh, so let's use some different color uh, yeah by the way I can use yeah let's do azure but I'm gonna change the alpha so this is one of the cool things I can make it I can saturate or I can I can change it uh, I can multiply RGB right with a single value which means you can darken it by just doing this and then if you chain it you can as u32 and here's the cool thing this can actually be completely const expert this can all just be compile time generated and it is going to be in, in, in release for this one so at the end you're just going to have this u32 after all this thing okay I think after this I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'm gonna continue working on the menu there it is cool we have some color so now that we have the menu I can add it into shakedown and I am actually going to do that tomorrow uh, because right now this is done confirm confirm options credits right everything works and you know what I actually need to have a main menu abstraction I can I should move this into a separate separate class that I can move it into my uh, into my um, into my um, into my game yeah because this is, is nothing to do with shakedown I can just Yeah, it would actually be nice to have a renderer as well here. Render menu and it just does everything on on the fly. But no, I'm I think I'm just going to move this into shakedown directly like this. because there's go there's definitely going to be some custom things to do but it does sound like something that I can easily just put it outside and use it in any game um, yeah there's nothing special about this right I can just make this into a 
Yeah, I actually, I can actually turn this into a class. The whole menu drawing thing. I can turn it into a class that simply takes. Yeah, the only changeable thing is the pointer to the to the menu to show. That's it. <laughs> That's basically it. And everything else is could be configurable actually. Height margin separation. Yeah. Yeah, I can actually add this into a class um, right now. I wonder if I should abstract it or not. Or maybe it's going to be easier to just do it in Shakedown. Um, uh, yeah, let's let's do a class. Uh, did I submit everything? Oh, please purchase fork. Okay, we'll do that someday. I promise. Uh, yeah, added added an options an options test menu. And um, and background changing. Yeah. So done the background changing. That's all. And add the menu to shakedown. Okay. Let's not do that today. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But first, I'm gonna abstract. A menu rendering into a separate class. So um, let's do a class menu renderer, and I'm gonna put all the stuff from here into into a public that's going to be void render and we're going to render the menu okay menu to show and so I'm going to keep the pointer to menu to show of course which is going to be menu pointer menu oh yeah well let's just put all the stuff yeah I'm going to do the menu to show in here that's one thing. Uh, then we can put. Then we can put um, all the little bits that we have here. Oh, static window flags. <laughs> okay, let's move that as well inside. Uh, yeah, and all the other bits are actually hard coded. So that's the only thing that I have here. Text centered. Uh, this doesn't need to be okay since this is a lambda I'm just gonna put it in here okay menu to show yeah that's the only variable that I have but the thing is that um, yeah we're gonna have to replace this menu drawing um, okay so this all works except what is going on what is there is some kind of requirement here Oh, engine. <laughs> yeah, of course, it needs an engine. So I'm just going to pass it an engine. There it is. That's the only requirement. It just needs the engine to be passed to it. Um, and menu to show now becomes, OK, I'm going to just add a menu renderer. Uh, menu renderer. Let's do that. And uh, I'm going to make the men menu render menu to show menu main menu equals main menu. And then, oh, right. And then I have to change everything to that. Menu render, menu render. And finally, that's it. That's actually it. Uh, finally, of course, we need to render. So menu renderer dot render. 
and we're going to pass it a reference to the engine. In this case, it's E. In um, Oh my god, what happened here? Oh, you can scroll, by the way. <laughs> That's a new thing in the new Visual Studio version. You can scroll up and down to have the extended list of everything. Um, yeah. So let's see if this works. Okay, there we go. So the render works. I'm not exactly sure if this is a good idea, but it does make it uh, easier to move it into a separate <laughs> into a separate uh, file menu render. And and yeah, maybe it can be part of the engine as well. I don't know. menu render yeah I'm gonna move that to the to the shakedown project tomorrow okay so yeah there we go we have a simple menu render and yeah I mean tomorrow I can also I can also make the separations into uh, since I have a class now I can move the separation like out into the main menu render. And stuff like that. Right? Okay, that being said, uh, let's end today. Where is actually my increment? Is that, oh yeah, that's actually over here. Hmm. Yeah, one more thing that I didn't implement is escape. Ah, one more thing is that my input is also inside this class, which is annoying. I should pass the input into the menu render, I think. Yeah, that's always a problem with abstracting. Well, it's not much of a it's not much of a deal. So, so that's good. Um, Yeah, this is pretty cool. I still have these settings values that I'm putting in. Uh, but of course, that makes sense. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the amount of the amount of functions that I'm passing. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. I'm concerned that it might choke up uh, my compile times 
but we'll see that. Okay, so we have these things. We can change values. You can enter options, change the volume. Oh, yeah, one more thing is that I didn't, uh, I didn't do a for each repaint. Uh, <laughs> Where, did, where was I doing that? I think I'm doing that here. Yeah. Main menu entries. Uh, you know what? Let's move this to menu. Let's move this to menu. And I'm going to call this repaint. Yeah, let's call this repaint. So avoid repaint. And... Um, yeah, let's do, well, did I just, okay, I cut without pasting. Uh, I'm going to call this repaint. There we go. Okay, so for each of the entries, we don't need this. An increment is not null pointer. Uh, do an an un increment. Okay. So now that we have that, at the end of each thing, we can just do options repaint, and I can do main menu repaint. And I can do a credits repaint, although nothing happens in the credits repaint. Okay, well, there we go. The change value has changed. Options, yeah, it does work. Cool, there we go. We can change the percentages. Change the graphics, we go back, changing the label, incrementing on confirm, everything works. Uh, I guess this weird flash when you get from confirming, it's a little bit weird. Uh, <laughs> But instead of that, I should actually play a sound or something. Uh, that would be good. That would be cool to do. Yeah, that's why I'm not actually, I, I might actually move the whole thing into shakedown instead of a class. Yeah, let me think about it until tomorrow. So I'm not gonna rush. I'm just gonna do this and then let's implement it in shakedown. And now, okay, no, nothing. I see there's six viewers still watching. Good. You know, two and a half hours plus two hours before earlier today. That's not bad. I actually implemented this pretty, pretty quickly, uh, which is nice. Okay, so we can do some cool stuff. And oh, yes, we then need to do now saving into the volume as well. So when you say back. There should be like reset to factory settings as well. Hmm. I don't know. Something like that. Credits. Drive. Of course, we need to have bindings as well. Um, let's let's pretend that I have some cars. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, let's let's. I'm just gonna say this abstracted, moved rendering to menu renderer class. Yeah, let's try to do a list of some things like a list of cars 
Um, like if you have a std vector of of std string car names, and I'm gonna ju just do spec seventeen. I don't know the tetro. Okay, that's the cars that I have. Moskvich. Moskvich. That's that should be with a with a V, I guess. Okay. So I have some car names and here's the thing. I want to change the cars. Okay, in the menu menu, let's add let's add instead of increment and confirm. Let's copy the volume and uh, yeah, we also need to have current car, I guess. Current car is going to be zero, but when I take a thing, um, I'm going to do main menu entries in place back. And this is going to be car. This is going to be called car. And I'm going to say car. And that's just going to be the name of the car. And the value is going to be car value increment by 5%. It's going to be car names. Car names. Current car okay so hopefully this works and then when you increment it increment yeah this is going to be an increment wrap can i do a wrap incrementation uh the problem is that if i do if I do current car plus equals, no, equals current car modulo um, yeah, current car plus plus, all right current car plus plus but it's going to be modulo car names dot size instead of this okay let's see if this is the problem is that i think it's not going to work with the wrapping around zero that's what that's where it's going to fail and this should also be an i32 because it's going to complain about mismatch. Uh, car names, current car, title. Okay, let's see. And then I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, there are no cars. Oh, there it is. Tetro, Moskvich. There it is. Okay, it does work. Spec 17 Tetro Moskvich and it goes up as well. Uh, spec 17 Tetro Moskvich, Spec 17 Tetro Moskvich. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> ah, of course, I shouldn't increment. I should plus equals value. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it should be go going up and down. And yeah, there we go. Spec tetro Moskvich tetro spec tetro spec tetro spec tetro spec tetro spec tetro Moskvich tetro Moskvich tetro Moskvich tetro Moskvich. Cool. So there it is. Oh, we have we have a bug. We have a bug. It's probably out of bounds. 
It's probably out of bounds. Yes, I knew it because this is completely unsafe to do. This is why you should never use modulo, especially in C++. Okay, yeah, it tries to go, yeah, if it tries to go below zero, here's what happened, right? Assertion failed. Uh, subscript out of range, yeah, because it has become too big or something. Yeah, it went below zero and it probably became minus one. So if I do retry, you can actually find this, where it's coming from. Uh, entry title, yeah, current car is, current car is minus one, uh, there it is. Terrible, 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 yeah, that's why you should never rely on the modulo. Uh, instead, I should just wrap around with uh, some function okay so it's uh it was a cool cool stuff cool stuff we implemented a few things i can now easily build menus whatever i want we have the left and right incrementing well the uh the car is broken but everything else should work fine so if i go into the options the graphics i can uh, increase decrease that's really cool I can go back can change the label of this one increment and confirm changing the value again to whatever on repeat yeah works cool I can even go to the another menu and it all gets realigned instantly which is great I was afraid of popping like if you say credits and it just changes the form and it's gonna pop and no, it actually calculates everything correctly. That's great, that's great. Okay, let's quit and that's gonna be it for today. Uh, so abstract into the rendering class, yeah, and this is gonna be for the next stream. For the next stream, number 117, Einstein Sieben. Medicopter eins and sieben. <laughs> that was a show that I used to watch as a kid. Random Medicopter eins and sieben mentioned. Anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. Let's add these. Let's add the menu to shakedown tomorrow. Uh, let's say on stream. And yeah, I don't know which the options should be, but that's it. So thanks for being in a stream. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a two relatively short streams, which is always nice. And I've done everything I imagined. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.